gigs of free space with at least one additional gigabyte for custom content and save games. This is an understatement. You just guys saw I have 19 gigs. What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side. Because I'm showing you how to make your Sims 4 game run faster. Now, this is for my mod addicts and my CC addicts out there. Because we like to download a lot of mods. And when I say addicts, I mean we'll sit at our computers for like two hours downloading custom content for a, a virtual game to make our Sims and our world look so much fucking better. So, if you just like. I believe a lot of people just joined the Sims community because of Christmas, so welcome, bitch. How you doing? I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know, so make sure you hit that sub button and you hit that like button. And you remember to turn on that notification bell. But go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram at It's Me Troy. Help your girl get to 2,000 followers. I would really appreciate it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make your game run faster. And these are tips that I use. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, boo. So we're here on the main page of Sims 4, and I just want to put a disclaimer out there. This is methods. Well, these are methods I used when I had my laptop because I upgraded my computer to a desktop about a couple of months ago, and it really depends on the specs of your computer. However, I had a Dell Inspiron from 2012, and this is what I did to make it run faster. Now, the first thing you want to do is check your graphic settings. Okay. So I played on low medium or low sometimes depending on how much CC I had in my game. So you want to go ahead and check that first. So uh, turn your settings to low medium. Make sure uncompressed sim textures are unchecked and you don't really need laptop mode. We have laptop mode but like a lot of people it has it has some issues with alpha CC hair. So you're like you don't even need that there. And also put your game in windowed full screen or in window mode as well. So uh, go ahead and do that first okay. So you know, make your sims low, your objects low, your lighting low, your reflections low, uh, edge smoothing is off for the low settings, cause you know, it's like, it takes, it doesn't take that much to like render the picture, I, I don't know the, like, the lingo, or wait, why can I like, okay, whatever, it's grayed out, but yeah, I play my game on Ultra, if you guys want my computer, it's linked on my Twitch desktop page, so I'll leave a link in the description box below, make sure you follow girl twitch.tv backslash itch me toy for all the live stream hot mess that goes on there, but yeah, my entire stream setup, including my actual computer and monitor is linked there the only thing i want to just let you guys know is that i if i could do something different i will get more a uh, solid storage uh space because you know i i have to be confident how much i have to go ahead and download all right guys so we're here on my desktop and the next thing i want to show you guys is my mods folder now i have 19 gigabytes of mods if you want to know how to install custom content i'll leave a link to that video in the description box below it should have already popped up at this moment in the icard for you guys but here's my sims 4 and I'm going to go ahead and delete my local thumb cache and my LEs. Always delete the uh, local thumb cache and the LE, you know, regularly. So here's my mods folder. And we're going to go ahead and actually delete the LE after you know you fix what's wrong with it. But you go to mods, come on now, properties, and then 19.8 gigabytes. So when I had my little laptop, I had to be cautious of how much CC I can take because it really depends on your computer hardware. A lot of you ask me how do you like make your game run faster, how you make your game run faster. Even when I had my little laptop. Now I have a higher spec at graphics card, higher processor, and more memory on this computer. And that is what's actually, you know, making it helping it a lot. However, if you don't have that, you don't have the budget for that. If your if your computer can't handle a lot of CC and mods, it just can't handle a lot of CC and mods. So what I had to do, I had to like make a suggestion. Well not a suggestion, I had to make a sacrifice on all of my furniture so i had to keep my you know my game to around nine gigs ten gigs at, at best and it was still a, a like a slow load a time so again i got a tweet a long time a, lot, a few i think a week ago by someone asking how to like how to make their game grow faster on a mac and they just had to like clean out their mods folders. Like if your computer can't handle it, again, it just can't handle it. There's nothing you can do as far as, you know, switching up and still keeping the mods you have in your game. You really have to clean it out and keep it organized. And, you know, finding what you don't need. For me, it was furniture, you know, because furniture does take up a lot. Let's see how big this folder is. 
This is 12.3 megs. Let's check this nitro panic. How big is this? This is 250 megabytes. So for me, yeah, furniture was a lot. And of course, CC and mods. Let's check out Wicked Whims real quick. Wicked Whims is 106 megs. And is that just all of it? Okay, yes, yeah, including my animations as well. Let's check out the Sim Torment mod. This is 900 kegabytes. So yeah, all this really does add up. If you guys want to see how I keep my so my uh, mods folder organized, I did a video on that as well. I'll link that. And if you're already gone ahead and linked itself in the icon, we can go ahead and check that out in full. But yeah, it's it does. You need to clean it out. All right. So keeping your mods folder clean, checking your graphic settings, and also like making sure your mods are up to date. So say for once, you know, Wicked Whims got an update, which if you know when was going through the game was going through updates, it does happen, and you're gonna need to do that. So you know the draw of having custom content in your game and having a lot of custom content in your game that you want to have, but the but again. You really have to keep it organized so that way you can keep it clean and you can also, you know, make sure your mods are up to date. So, uh, yeah, your, if your computer can't handle it, you really have to start taking out mods and CC. That's just the fact of the matter. I know you wish you could do something else, but it's either take out your mods and CC or go buy another computer, a high power computer that can help. Okay, so we're on Google right now. And a lot of people, at least in some of the groups I, I am, I am in, they always ask, is this computer going to run The Sims 4? And the fact of the matter is, you know, a lot of it is no, because they're trying to get a more cheaper deal. And the fact is, you're not going to get a computer, at least now, that can handle The Sims for all of the packs. And as much as, as much as CC content that you want for a cheap price. Unless you find one that's on sale. So, it's very easy to, to search up Sims for minimum requirements and just fact and just you know find it right here is on the system requirements or so we can just go to ea help and that will put it in for you so let's just check it out real quick so for pc minimum requirements windows xp windows vista windows 7 windows 8 or 8.1 and windows 10 a processor is a core to duo amd athlon or equivalent you can get a amd uh, intel core 2 duo uh, 2.0 gigahertz memory at least 2 gigs of RAM hard drive free space at least 9 gigs of free space with at least 1 additional gigabyte for custom content and save games this is an understatement you guys are, I have 19 gigs if they're saying 1 gig you, yeah just just letting you know all right so in a graphics card uh 120 megabyte video ram and support for pixel shader 3.0 recommended this is the minimum requirement this is the recommended right here i intel core i5 i have an i7 in my computer i'm running windows 10 i have at least i believe 12 gigs of ram and i have a ssd of 100 gigs now like i said before what I would change on this computer and what I would have to do is upgrade because I am, well even now I have to be cautious of as much as CC I can download because this, I have two hard drives and only one is, you know, running The Sims 4. A DVD drive required for installation from disk only. I do a digital code and a direct X version. So not that our computers come with DVD ROMs either, which is, you know, kind of used to be the norm especially with the sims 3 era and now it's you know so it's like how can i tell my pc meet those requirements if you like to try an automatic scan computer to see if it can run the sims 4 visit the sims requirements lab site and run there can you run it too for the sims 4 so we're just gonna go here real quick and it's like can you run it can you run it and uh, here let's do it can you run it oh wow you have to download something we're not zooming that i'm sorry um, even though coming from The Sims, directly from The Sims, it's like, uh, no, I don't trust a you, home skillet. But yeah, that is how I run, that is how I kept my Sims for a game running. It's how you can keep your Sims for a game running. Just to go over real quick, check your graphics settings, turn them all low if you're having lag and you're having issues loading it up. You're still going to have 
it's still gonna be well it may be a little bit faster if you turn your graphics settings down because every time you love your game your game has to load up all of that cc and content you have installed keep your mods folder organized also keep it down to a little to like at least 10 gigs if you can or less it really depends again if your computer can handle it it can't it can handle it and if it can't handle it it can't handle it it start you're gonna have to start uh you know taking out cc and mods because if it's already like 11 minutes of startup time and you're like i wanted to run faster again you have to clean it out or get a new pc and also going through and making sure you know if you're all gonna upgrade if you can even run the ba like the basic minimum so guys i hope these tips helped um again you can check out all the links that i mentioned in the description box below for you let me know in the comments below you know if it helped or you can just say hi troy and i will just say hi back but guys i hope you have a wonderful holiday let me know in the comments below what other tips i should be doing before the end of the year and i'll see you next time bye boo <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,